to this second in the series of the sessions on post-secularism. It's uh, one of the three parts of the uh, long-term uh, research project that uh, Buck has undertaken under the title uh, The Return of Religion and Other Myth. Um, with the project The Return of Religion and Other Myth, we're looking at this um, a general common assumption that the religion um, somehow return to, uh, to the midst of all debates in uh, our society. And um, um, I, um, I dare to say that perhaps there's no secular discussion uh, that's, that's going on um, in the Netherlands bit on immigration, war, terrorism, crimin uh, uh, criminality, etc that wouldn't be blamed on the problems that, uh, that uh, uh, come or originate in this assumption of the return of religion. We'd like to put this assumption under pressure with this project and, um, and uh, try to examine it from different perspectives as a myth, as a myth that can be as constitutive as it is fictional about our contemporary condition. We do it in, uh, uh, through these three parts. Um, the main part, of course, the exhibition that's uh, on view at the back and the Central Museum, that's curated by uh, Sven Lutherkan, who will in a minute take over uh, the floor from me and uh, will moderate this afternoon. The exhibition called The Art of Iconoclasm, where uh, we try to debate what place does art, artistic production, uh, and its theories actually, what role can they play in this public discussion about the return of religion? Um, second part uh, of this series, of the, of the entire project, is a series of talks and discussions. Today's session is um, uh, the session on iconoclasm. As, as I said, Sven will introduce. Um, the session in detail, um, as well as our um, uh, esteemed guest this, uh, this afternoon. Third part I would like to announce because uh, soon in uh, late spring this year we'll issue a critical reader in contemporary art, uh, third in the series that Buck has produced <coughs> under the same title, examining the issue of the return of religion from different perspectives uh, with writers, artists um, and, and uh, theorists. Um, I'd like to perhaps very quickly look at the history of uh, how this project came about and, uh, and uh, name two important sources. One of those sources um, is the Center for the Humanities here at the Utrecht University um, uh, with whom we co-organize this series of sessions. Um, with whom since two years we, we've been organizing um, a series of expert meetings um, um, st study and research groups on the notion of the post-secular. Um, the idea of Buck um, being a place somewhere between art field and acad academy is to work really intensely at first in the academic con uh, context researching certain issues, certain subjects, until we have a feeling we have something to say, we have something to, to share with the public. And that was the moment when the exhibition opened and um, these are the moments of encountering you and debating the serious issues that we believe are at stake in contemporary society um, uh, in, this series, in this series of lectures. I'd like to um, quote the second source of, uh, of the inspiration, if, you, uh, if I may call it that way. And that's the project that we organized um, uh, in 2007, which was the Dutch contribution to the Venice Biennale in, uh, um, uh, in Venice, of course, um, titled Citizens and Subjects, to which Sven Lutherken uh, contributed an essay that dealt with the notion of image wars. One of the challenges he articulated was uh, a serious question, why are the institutions um, don't really dare with this issue. If there is a 
an expertise that art field should offer for this public debate, it's an expertise on the, th on the notion of image. Um, we took up this challenge and uh, decided we're going to deal with this issue seriously and uh, return the challenge back to Sven to invite him to curate the exhibition. He was so generous to take up that, um, that challenge and I hope he'll do the same now. Sven, the floor is yours. Thank you again for coming. Thank you. Well, I won't occupy the floor for very long because we've got a full program with extremely interesting speakers. Um, so just a few introductory words. Um, uh, a few weeks ago, during our first session, we questioned uh, the notion, the assumption that we are experiencing a return of religion in the sense of a return of the same. Uh, we asked, in particular, Kena Malik asked the question, you know, what exactly is uh, returning? Um, is more contemporary fundamentalism in particular not in many ways a break with tradition? Is fundamentalism not the very opposite of religious traditionalism? So what exactly are we um, dealing with? Does fundamentalism not uh, bear the imprint of secularization? Uh, are we not dealing with a form of religion or religiosity a la carte um, in monotheistic fundamentalisms as well as in all kinds of as in all uh, other forms of uh, contemporary spirituality, new age, etc. Um, today we um, want to um, take another approach to these and similar questions by focusing on um, the monotheistic notion of idolatry and on iconoclasm as essential um, elements of monotheism. Our first speaker, Jan Asman, has written a very fundamental and substantial book called in German Moses der Egypter, in English uh, Moses the Egyptian, um, in, in which he introduces and analyzes the notion of um, uh, the impact um, of the so-called mosaic distinction um, throughout history. So um, the mosaic distinction is um, the fundamental distinction between the one true God and the false gods, between the true religion and the false religions. Um, so, um, in order to, to analyze the impact of this distinction, Jan Asman goes back to the very uh, source and the origin of this distinction, and he develops a very interesting historical analysis and, as it were, a counter myth to the official um, Judeo Christian reading of uh, Moses and the origin of monotheism. After Jan Asman, our first speaker, um, our second speaker, is an expert on um, um, uh, Islam, um, the author of um, a book on, um, again, I have the German version, Bilder und Bilder verbot in Islam, but there is also a French version <coughs> if you prefer that. Um, Sylvia Neif um, is her name, and she will ask the question if there is an Islamic war on images, is there such a thing as an Islamic war on images? And like Jan Asman, she'll go back in history, um, but she'll also focus on um, the Islamic reception of modern and contemporary media, photography, film, video. Um, this um, live questioning we will continue after the break, when Arnold Holleman will give a talk based on uh, his film Museum, which is in the exhibition at the Central Museum, and then we will um, and um, the afternoon, apart from the discussion, which will follow that, we will end it with um, the screening of a film by Bogus Goy's Iconoclastic Delights, which focuses on iconoclasm and cinema. Right, let's waste no more time and um, give the floor to Jan Asma.